Sorry, I gotta add a row. Add row below. Woodpecker. Just call it Woodpecker. I don't know. Gosh, Hawk. <laughs> a friend, JJ Finn, also on YouTube, by the way. We're going to make a tier list on scrolls, but we decided on weapons more because you can kind of hone in on weapons within any given meta and seriously put them on a tier list because every scroll can kind of be considered good and we didn't want to waste our time. So this is a subjective tier list of me, Jafin's personal opinions on weapons that we use for the game. Before we continue, I need to ask that you subscribe and like and all that shit because apparently like YouTube holds a gun to my head if I don't put that in the intro of a video that has an intro. So, I like to live. But yeah, if you haven't, go ahead and do that. I also have a Twitch link in the description below. I'm live pretty much every day, 6 p.m. EST. And I hope it gets through to you. But if not, enjoy the tier list. Let's kick it off with the Angelic Aura. So, where do you want to put this? Say, let, the Angelic actually, Aura wait, let's isn't... Just, hold on, let's just, let's just get this out of the way. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> and, where's the gosh hawk? Put it, put it there, too. It Wait. is also a woodpecker too. <laughs> uh, the Goshawk 2.0. All, right. All right. These two have uh, to sit in woodpecker. Those out of the way. Let's Terrible. get to the actual right. weapons, you know? All right. Does passive really work with this weapon? But I don't know. What's the name of this one again? Fucking. That one. Um... Yeah, we can't even think of it. <laughs> TNT Thrower. Yes. TNT Thrower. Yes. That's it. Uh, I, yeah, I'd say above the big hippo again like we're gonna see a big glutton in b tier they work but you don't want to finish the run on them it's not or it's not a run you'd share with the folks if you have to have one of these weapons that's a good it, rule of thumb it's concealed ammo yeah the, the thing right. you like about snipers when you have to do a sniper run is that you need it to be able to penetrate through things which is why the uh bloody drill is really good because it hits multiple targets in a line but the double caliber doesn't uh, I want to put it in maybe top of C, maybe. I'd say this one, or maybe C or B, due to its its ability to change its uh, its nature, its fire and corrosion. Mm -hmm. I think it's useful in creating explosions, and you could get it to be good, but I think it falls off early, so it might be. I agree, it might be a C tier. It's kind of like the hippo. You need to get really good inscriptions on it for it to scale well, for it to be viable. Again, this is a completely subjective tier list, so fuck you. Uh, the Justice, I have fun with the Justice, but I'm also somebody that enjoys the Frenzied Shark. So, uh, I don't enjoy having to activate explosions for bombs. I personally don't like the Justice. Like a detonator? Yeah, I don't like detonating like them because you can stick them onto enemies like sticky bombs you can throw them onto an enemy and then stack them and then blow them up kind of like the spears very similar mechanic going on there uh if you would put this in say c or b i would want to put it in a so if i'm right on this we could just put it like next to argus or maybe a bit behind it's you put it next to argus. C. yeah i think it's i think it good. has the ability because you can still dual wield it and it still has a bit of power but yeah it's pretty good mushu a tier no question a tier no question absolutely we put it up here no question with its, it's ability not... to proc scrolls and with its fire damage and it goes through shields some enemies yeah. in the game actually have shields it goes through shields swords in this game are kind of weird champ because it's a game meant for guns but I mean, the the game says that for how much damage they have, they lose out on crit. So, it's kind of whatever. It's a game that works off of crit. Gunfire has a lot of scrolls that work off of crit. It's not exactly a neat thing to do with them. Granted, they all have their own little abilities that work, but as swords are swords, I don't think a sword is going to get any higher than B, to be honest. I think wrong. You think, think wrong? I do. Right, Only well, for one of them. Let's hear it. Let's go. Well, well starting with the Flame Tower, I believe it's the, the most C tier uh, sword it you can get. It suffers from Bone Dragon Syndrome. Like, mm -hmm. for the for the ammo that it uses, every swing consumes a special ammo. It's just not worth it. It's clunky, and its element isn't very useful later on. 
Yeah, you want something that can beat up shields and armor. As well as her normal armor. So I agree. Except. I believe flowing light is the best sword you can get. And it's either high mm -hmm. B or low A. Due high to its B right click. With its yeah. lightning capabilities. It's pretty good. It's it, it's good with a lot of characters too. The bunny, the tiger, even the cat. Mm -hmm. The cat can use it pretty well with their uh, their main ability. I would say maybe next to justice actually it scales it's a secondary and you only really keep a sword on you as maybe a secondary weapon just so that you can um get movement speed like holding a sword gives you the most movement speed so not that bad i would maybe put this one like low b you know swords are weird because they have a ammo costs for whatever reason but i don't mind putting it here like actually it kind of goes with this guy but it's it's very low due to it it's it's right click ability having too much of a charge up requirement. You yeah, take too yeah. much damage in in the later difficulties due to it uh, enemies destroying your shield much easier. The only character I think that the uh, what's it called the Serpent's Fang? No, that's the League of Legends. Uh, the Poisonous Ghost. Poisonous Ghost. I think the only character the Poisonous Ghost properly works on is the turtle with the Aspis. And mm -hmm. if it only works on one character, it's not going to get higher than B. So uh, I think it sits there. That's a pretty good summary of the swords as well. Um, boundary. Boundary. Woodpeck. I want to put the shark in S tier. I really do. Because there's a lot of fun that comes with using the shark. And it's a viable and valuable weapon on characters that can properly exploit the explosion mechanic in a game involving elements because there are the three elements being fire shock and corrosive that have unique effects on health bars and armor respectively but explosions are just kind of left in the dust because if you get too powerful with explosions and you'll we'll come back to this with the tiger cannon then you just kind of one shot everything even if they have shields so I think that the frenzy shark is fun i like the mechanic of it that kind of like junk rat style because i'm a junk rat player or at least i was when i played overwatch i enjoy this kind of weapon and you know if you play overwatch and you like junk rat you just need a you need to buy gunfire and use this gun holy shit are you gonna have a good time but i think it deserves high a or low s i just it's too good of a weapon it feels good it's fun it scales well with a lot of scrolls every character can use it functionally ever least as a second weapon and i think that the ammo is good it literally is good i don't think you're going to get an inscription on this weapon that makes it something you wouldn't pick up actually it's very rare that you'll get an inscription on the frenzy shark that would make you not want to pick it up now Javen, you don't use it a lot so i would put it top of a bottom of s but if you want to kind of like change that up a little bit here let's put it here yeah low s here i'm having fun with that the hell hell i have a lot a of fun with a tier i believe that hell is an a tier i'd say below mushu but above the strike i like i do want to put the wild hunt in s but low s yes like, actually That's quite big. the wild hunt with the right it's inscriptions impressive. can can haul it can actually haul ass it's really fucking it carries fun an entire game does i mean even if you only have like two ammo a lot of the times you'll just get it back um this one i don't find myself using it if you need to charge up a shotgun there's something wrong with you porcupine you're a weird person you're an actual weird person i'd put this shit in woodpecker i hate the porcupine. it's weird i think it does it do corrosive naturally yes it does yeah, I mean, you there there is the shotgun portion of it, and then the one where you throw out a jack from the game jacks, and then it explodes. But like that's the explosion is worse than the concealed ammo, and the shotgun portion of the Pokemon shotgun is infinitely worse than the, uh, the corrosive bow over here. Which one was this called? Sting. Sting. Yeah. So, it, like. You're trying to optimize on too much with the porcupine. I feel you're going to get played a fool. You, ha you have some qualms with the Sunderer, if memory serves. The Sunderer. Serves. Yeah, you're I not a big like Sunderer. <laughs> you don't like the Sunderer? I don't 
like the Sunderer very much due to its... It's actually a pistol. Is it actually? It's, it's, it, it's classed as a pistol. Ooh. All it's right, a very well. weird gun. It, it it doesn't know what it wants to be. It doesn't. It's uh, it's really... I didn't even know it was a pistol. I thought it was a shotgun because it, it mm. kind of gives you like a flurry of bullets. It's almost like it's, a 2D bullet hell kind of gun. It, but it acts like a shotgun, but it's a pistol actually. I don't... It's, a, it's bullets split into three projectiles. That is really weird shit. I don't like it. It doesn't know what it wants to be. And I don't. I, I don't put know what I want it to be. Bottom of B tier, just because it doesn't it... suffer as much as the the ones in C tier, but bottom of B tier definitely for sure. So like the fire dragon and the rainbow, gloves are counted as injector weapons, with a rate of, a high rate of fire but low critical and low damage. You have to sustain. Uh, your, so these guys would your be beam. Up. So yes. I think Mushu is going to be hands down the highest ladies. level of of injector for sure. Sorry, my yes. dog is barking. I don't know if you can pick that up. Post production, uh, clean that up. Uh, the two gloves, I think they kind of sit in C tier together. I never used them. Fuck it. Yeah, I mean they're they're injector weapons that really did get outshined by Mushu and the like, and in the eyes of the player base and the subreddit. I mean nobody gives a flying fuck about the gloves. They were added as like, here's what could be, you know? Here's a, a beam, and you can bust shields and shit down with it, and it's good until everybody on the face of the planet realized that it's just not good. <laughs> I mean, just nobody cares enough. about them. They've just gotten power creep. That's all. They just suffer. Mm -hmm. They need a rework. Like actually, imagine if they snapped and then an explosion happened in front of you, like Mustang or some shit. That would be a really cool sort of mechanic for it, but. Or maybe they're punching, you know, you can use them as melee, and they, they're like gauntlets, like Vi's gauntlets, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That would be good yes. thinking, but the way that uh, they are now, cool. I can't see them moving out of C tier anytime soon. They're just not good enough. Where would you put the, uh, the Sky? This guy. What's it called? Um, his name is... It's a he. Uh, it is... Hmm. Lightning blast. Well, that, wow, it's a that's, rifle. That's really emo. So he's it's the one that can put the uh the orb on the ground, right? Put the orb right. on the ground for that and then You throw an orb out and shoot through it. Yeah. Um I put this one Any weapon or skill shot through the force field will have its damage increased, even from other players. I think it right. it has enough of a support capacity to survive in the in the B tier. Yeah, I, I would agree. I mean, I never find myself using it, but I'm not a, uh, I'm not a bow player. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of it's kind of like Baptist shield as well. It can make other weapons that fall back kind of valuable. Would you yeah. would you change it from being last? Yes, I'd put it a little higher than dual thing. I, I think I think I'd put it higher than the ghost to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yes. I did have that really one cool run on the ghost. Yo, editor post production, clip in my one shot in the fourth round. But wow, I, that was a good shot. Yeah, <laughs> well, great. I know I'm outstanding. I don't think you're ever gonna do that again. It's way too weird, champ. So yeah, I think that weapon kind of hits it. The talismans. Now we're, we're meeting the cream of the crop with the weapon design here. The talismans are very good weapons. In design. In design. Like, they're creative. Uh, for clarification, you can cycle through the talisman to apply all three different damage types, fire, shock, and corrosive, uh, in order to do maximum damage to any enemy. In addition to that, you can either do a two-shot, which would shoot two talismans consuming two ammo, or I think an eight to ten shot, where the talismans fly in a circle and then all fly at an enemy at once, kind of like rapid fire, and it would consume the ammo respectively got a lot of options but how many options do you need in a game where you're killing ai animals right never find yourself picking it up unless you do jfin i'm just i'm spitballing but i i haven't used talismans in a fucking eon it's a very well designed weapon in concept and it's very cool in animation but it it, it just suffers from coolness because you can't dual wield it to be honest this game is about heavy numbers 
effect and limit testing with every weapon you can have what is the best combination how much speed can i get how much can this damage this weapon do in one shot how much can i burst down this boss you know how much health can i obtain how much ability power can i have it's very it's very fun in the sense that you're always testing limits because things aren't nerfed by each other you can stack things to infinity this weapon doesn't do that it doesn't want you to it doesn't it doesn't make you think how how powerful can i make the talismans nobody's ever asked that tiger cannon this is actually the I weapon the new tristana you. skin has not really Fire, firecracker tristana uses the tiger cannon it's hilarious Image up well, it's a really really good weapon it is yeah it one shots it can shoot two at a time if your inscriptions are fortunate it etches really well. I don't think I've ever etched this weapon and got a bad inscription. Like, actually. Um, and because you can etch Gemini's now, it only gets stronger. Putting it here again, I would say... I would say S tier. Yes, I, I would say S tier. I think all three of these are S tier. I agree. Actually. These next ones are going to be S tier. Yeah, but we're in S tier, right? Final portion of the video will be S tier. How would you... This goes last. Yes. I think. Uh, what do you think goes next? I would like, move mortar above a tiger cannon. I was thinking of tiger cannon being like here, because explosions can only do so well right now. Yes. Uh, speaking move. of mortar, I feel like mortar above this. I move ice spear up in front of mortar, or sure. right beside it, right there. I think, I think this is good. Yes. We, yeah, we we've never use used it. Much. Fuck it. We've never used it. I'm putting it in Foundry. Sorry to everybody yeah. that's used it and thinks it's really good. I'll give you... Follow me on Twitter, okay? I'll give you uh, a 10-word essay on how fun it was to use once I've unlocked it. <laughs> uh, but no more. No more. And yeah, that's about it.